So about a month ago, I started uploading videos just sharing some of the games I've been playing this year, and a good chunk of them were actually total conversion mods of Doom. Something different from my usual content. And no, this won't be like a long intro, I just want to give some context. I know a lot of YouTubers do this thing where they pad the shit out of their videos talking about nothing just so they can get their mid-roll ads. Anyways, people asked me to do a guide video about modding Doom on the Steam Deck and I was just gonna look up some other guides on YouTube and give out those links in my replies when I noticed something. The guides I watched, like the very few that are actually out there, they were either overly complex or just too out of date where if you follow them now it's just gonna lead to some frustration if it doesn't end up working for you. What I wanted to do today is make a simplified, easy to follow guide on how to mod Doom. So you don't have to spend hours tinkering and digging through reddit threads just trying to figure it out. And to push my agenda of brainwashing people into waiting for sales and trying out free shit. Gotta keep up that grift, you know? So to get started, let's switch over to desktop mode. We're gonna open up the discover store and type in the search bar GZ Doom. For me it says launch, for you it's going to say install, so go ahead and install it. You can add this to your desktop if you want, as you can see from my example, you can never have enough clutter. Now you're going to want to open up your internet browser and look for GZ Deck. I'll also have it linked in the description if you want to jump straight to the download. What you're looking for is this app image. Once it's downloaded, you're going to add it to Steam. If you get an error like I just did here, it's because you have to launch it at least once to give it permission before it'll let you add it to Steam. Now that we added GZ Deck to Steam, we're going to open up the Steam app, click on GZ Deck, Manage, Properties, and right here in the Launch Options, you're going to paste in this command line. You can either type it in, it's pretty short, or I'll just have it in the description so you can copy and paste it. Now that that's all done with, we're going to go into our file explorer, hit home, and real quick, make sure you have show hidden files checked. You need it checked so you can see this .var folder, as well as various other hidden files. Click on the .var folder, and now this org.zdoom folder. Now open this .config folder. Click on GZ Doom, and right here is where you want to drag your Doom wads. You need these as a dependency. If you already own Doom 1 or Doom 2, you can just go into your Steam library, browse the local files, go to base, and then right here is your Doom 2 wad. Now if you don't own Doom 1 and 2, that's fine, you can just go to Free Doom and download this file right here. It does the exact same thing, but for free. Anyways, you just want to drag these into your base folder. Once that's done, this is where you want to drop your mods. These PK3s. You can see I already have some here, but I'll show you where you can get them. Right here on ModDB, you just look up the Doom mod you want. For me, it's going to be Golden Souls 2. You just download the file and drop it straight into your mods folder. Just so you don't forget, I'll go through the file path once again. It's home.var gzdoom.config and then right here in your mods. So let's extract Golden Souls 2, launch GZ Deck, and this is really simple right here. This is where you set your dependencies. Most mods use Doom 2. I'm going to click here and deactivate this mod and let's boot up Golden Souls 2. And there you go, the game boots right up. Golden Souls is an extremely fun mix between Doom and Super Mario 64. At first I kind of overlooked it because it didn't really, you know, stand out on the surface until I finally played it and it became my new addiction. Alright, let's try Legend of Doom. And it's exactly what it looks like, a recreation of the first Zelda game, but Doom. If you remember Zelda on the NES, going around trying to burn every bush for secrets, playing this in first person feels like experiencing it all over again. I also want to add that some Doom mods are completely standalone, like Ashes 2063, and I'll show you how to easily add this to your Steam library. Right here you can see that Ashes 2063 uses .batch files, so it won't recognize it as an executable. You won't be able to right click and just add it to Steam. But if we open up Steam, go to games, and then add a non-Steam game to my library, hit browse, 
go to where we have Ashes 2063, which for me is in this folder right here, over here down in filter, if we click all files, now we can see all the contents of this folder. If we go ahead and click on play episode one, hit open, add selected programs, we can now add it as a non-Steam game. Now we can go to the game, manage properties, compatibility and force Proton Experimental and just straight up launch the game. I can't tell you how many times I've been stumped for literal hours only to find out it was something extremely simple all along. What can I say about Ashes 2063 though? Well, it's the greatest Doom mod of all time. Think of the Metro games with a little bit of Stalker and Fallout sprinkled on top. And you got one of the best post-apocalyptic survival games ever made. And I'm not kidding. Calling Ashes 2063 a mod is a massive disservice to this game. If you're into retro shooters, this is possibly one of the greatest, if not the greatest retro shooter of all time. I don't like to say the word masterpiece because I think it's been used too many times, it's kind of lost its value, but you know those games you end up replaying every few years? For me it's games like Dark Souls, Devil May Cry, Underground 2, you know the classics. Ashes 2063 is one of those games. Some Doom mods like Brutal Doom, they're just standalone executable so you can straight up just add them to Steam and start playing them. I'll have this one linked in the description too. It's the Brutal Doom Hell on Earth Starter Pack. And you can see right here, it's just your average Windows executable. Just right click and add to Steam. And that's it. Now you're ready to jib some demons of hell. This is probably second nature by now, but yeah, make sure you Proton Experimental it. And that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys found it helpful. Some of my favorite games of all time are actually mods of some of my favorite games of all time. And it's one of the many ways you can squeeze every ounce of value out of what you already have. And yeah, I know I talk a lot about free games and yeah, I, I have a pretty soft stance on piracy too. I think things like abandonware and out of print physical media that these companies refuse to sell us is completely fine to pirate. Literally, who gives a fuck? Who am I hurting? Some Nintendo fanboy triggered by seeing me having fun with games not approved by their draconian overlords? Oh man, hopefully my channel doesn't get flagged for emulating some Pokemon ROM hack. Gee, I wonder, where do your favorite Nintendubers get all of their gameplay footage from? It couldn't be emulation, could it? <laughs> but I'm gonna end it right there. Let me know if you found this guide helpful. Later.